Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you are welcome. My name is Anita Fon, and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time I upload a new tutorial to my channel. If you're home by you are welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to draft this jacket pattern step by step. So if you want to know how I go about it, keep on watching. First thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and be marking 4 inch downward and I'm also going to mark 4 inch here. After doing so, I'll go ahead now to connect that point up with a straight line. I'll do the same thing here. Remember I went down by 4 inch, I went in by 4 inch that we're going to be using it later on. After doing so, the next thing I'm going to do is I will take my shoulder measurement, divide it by two. My shoulder measurement is 14. 14 divided by two is going to give me seven. I'll go ahead and mark it up. After marking it up, I'm going to slant it down by one inch and I'm going to move now to my armhole deep which is seven and a half. If you don't know how to get the armhole deep, divide around your bust by six, then you add one and a half to inch to it. After going down to my armhole deep, I'm going to go ahead and connect it up like this and I will be the same thing here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'll go in for my neck width of three inch, my neck depth of three inch. Connect that up. After connecting, I'm going to go ahead and connect my shoulder slant. After connecting that, I'll measure up whatever I have from here to here and divide it by 2, which is 7.5 divided by 2 is going to give me 3.075. And I'm going to go in by 3 quarter inch mark. Then I'll come here, I'll put 1 quarter of my bust measurement, which is 34. 34 divided by 4 is going to give me 8.5. I will mark that up and I'm going to connect those three points up like so. After connecting it up, the next thing I'm going to do is to measure from my shoulder to my half length, which is 15 inch, and from my shoulder to the length of this jacket, which is uh, 20 and a half inch. I'll mark and connect it up. I will go ahead now, take my nipple to nipple, which is uh, 8 inch, 8 divided by 2 is going to give me 4. I'll mark it up here and I'll also mark it up here. After doing so, I'll connect it up with a straight line, just like this. Go ahead, I'll be creating up my dart of uh, half inch, half inch both sides. Connect it up like this. I'll go ahead and measure up whatever I have here and divide it by 2, which is 4 inch. 4 divided by 2 is going to give me 2 inch. I'll mark it up and I'm going to connect it all the way to the chest line. This is to create the shoulder that. After doing so, what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do now is to go ahead, take around my boss, which is 34. 34 divided by 4 is going to give me 8. I will mark it up and I'm going to be adding 1 inch for the that allowance. I'll come here on my waist. I'll take around my waist, which is 28. 28 divided by 4 is going to give me 7. I will mark that up. I'm going to replace it back that 1 inch for the that allowance. I'll come here. I'll put 1 quarter of my hip. Around my hip is 36. 36 divided by 4 is going to give me 9. And I'm going to add 1 inch for the that allowance. I'll go ahead now to connect it up like this. Now, if you don't want your jacket to be fitting, what you're going to do is just to connect it from here to here straight, okay? Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead now. I'll come at this downer part. I will go up by one and a half inch. Then I'm going to go ahead and connect it up 
like this this is to have that a uh, curve shape at the front part see what i've just done there i'm going to go ahead now i'll be drafting up the back just the same like we did for the front if there's anything i'll be doing different i will stop adding and indicate it to you i will take my shoulder measurement which is 14 14 divided by 2 is going to give me 7 i'm going to slant it down by 1 inch then i'll move now to my armhole deep which is seven and a half i'm also going to mark that seven inch i use for my shoulder here after doing so, I'm going to go ahead and connect it up. Then I'm going to go ahead, I'll go in for the neck width of 3 inch for the neck depth of 1 inch for the back. You go down by 1 inch, connect it up, then I'm going to go ahead and connect my shoulder slant just like that. When I'm done connecting my shoulder slant, I'm just going to go ahead and measure up whatever I have, divide that by two, then I'll put one quarter of my boss. Then for the back armhole, we're going to be connecting it from the outside. Look at what I'm doing here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to mark from my shoulder to the half length, from my shoulder to the length. After doing so, I'll go ahead to mark the nipple to nipple like we did for the front. I'll be marking up my dart of half, of half inch both sides. Then I'll go ahead, I'll be putting one quarter of my bust measurement, one quarter of my waist, one quarter of my hip. Measure of whatever you have and divide that by two, okay? Level up your pattern up and then make sure you mark them the center front, the center back measure up now whatever we have here for the neck width for the back after measure up the neck width for the back i will keep that aside then i'm going to go ahead and just mark one inch one inch for my bottom hole here at the front then after marking that up go ahead to connect it up now you want to uh, mark where the breaking point is going to start from mine is going to be eight inch from my neck width i went down by eight inch then now i'll go ahead now to connect it all the way to here like you can see me doing here all the way to the top after connecting that up what i'm going to do is that neck width that we measure which was 3.025 i'm going to extend it up here like this then i'll go ahead and connect this point all the way to that 3.025 after doing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in by half inch this is uh for your collar to sit well around your neck then I will go ahead now and just uh, cancel this first line so you will not get confused. I'm going to go ahead now. I will measure from this point here like this. Four inch. Okay. You can decide on how uh, big you want it to be. I will go ahead and measure four inch. And look at the way I'm going to be placing up my tape. I'm not placing it straight. But instead I'm placing it in a form of a slang way and mark that four inch up then you just go ahead and connect that up after doing so i'll come here from the bottom hole i'll be extending two inch making it three inch our lapel is going to be three inch connect it all the way to that three inch and then here you can choose the design you want it to be you can go ahead and connect it straight or you can go ahead and do something like uh, uh this as you can see i'll be doing it the both uh way so you will see how you can go ahead and create up your own design okay you make something like this or you go ahead and just connect it straight which is the one i'm going to be using straight okay then i'm going to go ahead now and just cancel the first uh line so we'll not get confused what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here i will go out by one inch then i'm going to go up by half inch highest you should go up should be one inch then i'll just connect it all the way to that half inch i went up the next thing i'm going to do is just to cancel this line so we don't have the bottom hole here at the uh, lapel see 
after doing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead now i'll be connecting up my uh color like this look at the way i'm placing up my curve ruler well, just connect that up and we have a color done already i will just go ahead and cut that up but before you cut it up level it up okay number them up so you should know which pattern go to the other and follow up the way i'm going to be cutting it so you will not make any mistake if you have watched this far i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up like comment share now uh if you want it to have the shoulder that you just go ahead and uh cut that those that up if not just go ahead and leave it up like this so i hope you find this tutorial helpful if it was helpful give it a thumbs up like comment and share i hope to see you on my next day i thank you so much for watching bye bye